Oh, what's going on guys oh, welcome back to the shop for today's video i pulled out something special for you guys this is the other half of that piece of apple we worked on i think we're finally gonna dig into this guy try and extract this here moose knuckle see what's inside it i'm not exactly sure what that even is i mean it could be a burl i'm thinking it might be more like a healed portion of a broken branch but only one way to find out. And considering, got all these other nubs hanging off here. I mean, it could be a burl. Could find something neat inside there. So I'm gonna get this outside and get the chainsaw fired up. Get that extracted. See if we can make something cool out of this. Cool in there. All right, let's get these guys circleized and see what we can do with it ever so gently. So we're going to be using quite a bit of uh, material to fill this mold. I don't know that I'm going to fill it all the way. I know we're going to have to cut back some of this. So um, we're going to be using the Total Boat Thick Set. This is a three to one mix. Um, should give us a nice slow cure for heavy concentration of resin. We'll get that mixed up a while and then uh, we'll get some color in there and get to pouring. All right, guys, we're up back between centers to get started and get this re-rounded to center. We're going to be using the negative rate carbide. 
Then we'll go from there with the gouge to get our shaping in. But uh, yeah, let's uh, make some chips.
It's done. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. Well, here she is in all of her glory. Um, this apple wood never, never ceases to impress. Um, as you can tell, the grain is just everywhere, which is also why some of you might have noticed in the video, I didn't bother too much with the gouge and hollowing this. Ended up using carbide mostly for hogging out the material on the inside. It was bouncing my gouge all over the place. So, you know, there's a tool for every purpose. Really liking the contrast between the, uh, the resin and the coloration in the grain of the wood. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. Really hope you guys like this one as much as I do. Please let me know in the description what you think. Always open to suggestions. Always looking to expand my skill set. I will leave you guys some slow rollers at the end of the video so you can check that out in further detail. And uh, other than that, I just want to remind you guys, uh, you will find a link in the description for the Total Boat Epoxy Resin. Uh, that'll get you 5% off of that. There's also a coupon code for the Starbond products. And in your purchase of those, you're helping yourself by saving yourself a little bit of cash. And you're also helping out the shop. Um, I also want to remind you guys to go check out uh, the website, dukeheritage.com. Um, we do have some face plates up there. If you're in the market for one of those, there will be a new version coming out soon. Uh, I've been working on setting up a station for doing anodizing on a lot of our tooling and stuff. Um, hitting the home stretch with the steady rest. That's also one of the large reasons I'm uh, stepping up and getting ready to do some of that anodizing. Only got coatings and hardware left for those. And I'm going to figure out some packaging, but it shouldn't be such a big deal. But, uh, yeah, if you guys like this stuff, please, please hit that like button. It really helps us get into the algorithm and get out and get exposed to some people that haven't seen the channel before. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I would love to see you guys around more often and uh, more of you. So, other than that, I love you guys. See you on the next one.